we're in the beautiful country of Ghana. Say hi, this baby friend. So today we are in Tema at the shipping yard. We can have our belongings that we shipped. So before we came out here, we shipped out all of our stuff, my car, all my belongings, and my house. Here, so show you where we are. We're at the shipping yard, guys. We shipped our things like what? May 17th. So it basically took about seven or eight weeks to arrive. So finally we're here to get our stuff. So I'm gonna take you guys inside what the harbor, the Tama Harbor looks like in Ghana. I'm gonna take you guys in. So I'm here with my mom and my uncle, his friend. There's grandma. Driver. Okay, let me see if I can get him some change. Let me see if I can get some change. Thank you so much. Thanks for reminding me, I almost forgot. <laughs> We're in Ghana, Tema. I've never been to Tema before. It took about an hour to get out here, so guys, so stay with us. Don't go nowhere. Taking you in the harbor to collect our stuff that we ship. We ship. So we gotta put one of these crazy things on before we go inside. Don't ask me why. We have to buy it, 15 cities each. <laughs> Finally, we just got in here. Ghana Harbor, Tema Harbor. Okay, we're gonna go inside and see if we can find my car, see if we can find my belongings in my house. We'll see you guys, we'll keep you posted. Oh, the floor is slippery, they just paved the floor with like, whatever it's called. So my mom couldn't come because I had the baby with me and they won't let the baby come in here. So they let my mom sit in a, in, in a seating area with baby prince so just me and my uncle and his friend and i have to come in because it's my stuff i know what i packed and what i didn't pack so i gotta make sure that all my belongings are there um yeah so let's go inside they took the stuff out of the car because that was in the car why did you guys do that they don't allow us to take the item with the car Oh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I think it's all. I, I am mixed up because they took it out. Huh? If yours is being separated from the rest, eventually it will be sorted out before it Because someone's in the car. So, so it looks like most of our stuff is here. Basketball, Prince's basketball net. These are all of our bins. Yeah, these are all of our bins. These are carpets. What do you mean? Mommy, mommy, my phone so now me, mommy, share here. These are cool. We're just waiting for them to go through the things over there. They're just going through them. I don't know what they're checking for, but they're checking for stuff. Make sure everything is here. So we're just waiting for them to do what they're doing. Two months. Yes, this is my car. Oh, it's so dirty. What happened? 
that was already there. What happened here? Oh my God, what the hell? What did they do to my car? I hope that stain is gonna come off. Okay, they're gonna catch me, so I'm gonna end this. Do I need to talk? Saying we're here, to are gonna get mommy's car. Go car. With grandma? Grandma. This grandma. With grandma? Hey. Let's see. So Prince is vlogging. So Prince is vlogging, guys. So we're here. We're waiting to get my car, all my stuff. Actually, all my things are already packed. We're waiting to get my car. Waiting to get clearance. We're waiting to get clearance for the vehicle. Once we get clearance for my vehicle, we out of here. Been here for like probably four hours, four or five hours. This here, I got my mom Duke, I got Prince. I'm just here, we're just waiting for them to actually, to finish clearing the car, the car. my All of my stuff have been packed into the truck, but to clear my car is just taking forever, guys. So we're just waiting. So we're gonna go check out, check. We're gonna go find out what's going on. My mom just fixing her shoes right now. And so it's, why did you take off your shoes, Prince? Cause grandma's fixing her shoes, you're fixing your shoes too. Prince. Uh, uh, Prince. So anyways, so we're just here. Hopefully we're gonna get out of here soon. I'm excited to get my car because that means I get to drive, guys. I get to drive. I get to drive. But in Ghana they drive crazy. So I'm a little bit on I'm a little bit scared because there's no such thing as rules. Pedestrians don't even have the right of way. Like if you're walking on the street. They're gonna beep you to get your ass out the way. They're not waiting for you to cross the street. They're gonna tell you to get the hell out of the way because like everybody's in a hurry. Like I don't know where everyone's in a hurry to go to, but anyways guys, I'm rambling. I'm just excited. I'm getting I'm gonna finally have my car. There's my car. And there's the truck that's taking all of our stuff. Prince, you remember mommy's car? <laughs> this truck like in front of us has all of our belongings in it and we're trying to like my uncle's trying to negotiate a price because he's trying to charge over a thousand dollars like just to transport our things to our home like it's only it's about an hour away are you trying to put on your seatbelt my poor baby <laughs> is that you baby look at your nose out of 500, I'll give you 200 Well, I hear you, I'm going to attend that. I love you, attend that. You're going to 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 attend We'll see how much longer they'll sit here and negotiate with him about the price. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. We'll see how much longer they negotiate. We'll see what, what number he agrees to. We went from 1,500 to now we're down to 1,200. Uncle said 700 and he said no. So. The things have arrived. Yeah, so it's oh my god, everybody's, everybody's coming to help. Grandma wanted the broken bikes. Why don't you guys go help? Why are you guys why are you guys just standing there? If they, they can help, why can't you guys help? Go help them. Did you miss us? Just friends.
your basketball net, baby? You got your basketball net? Yeah, I want to take all this plastic off so you can play with it. Let's bring it outside. Xavier's over there taking a TV, getting a TV ready. Taking off all that cardboard and all that plastic stuff. Tom, bring it outside, baby. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been a few days since we've been back from the ship in Harbor. We've been just been super busy trying to let's organize things. Like as you see behind me, you can see some of the bins behind me stacked up. Some of the things we have stacked up behind me, like all over my mom's house. I actually went and got my hair done, guys. I went and got my hair done. So I'm gonna show you guys my hair. So before I show you guys my hair, let me tell you how much it costs. So my hair actually cost me 50 Ghana cities. So I noticed in my last video, whenever I would give you guys prices in cities, I would never convert it for my fellow Canadians. So I'm gonna be doing conversions today for you guys. So 50 Ghana cities, right now the right now the currency, the rate is 8.0. I'm still learning myself all this currency stuff. So if I make a mistake, please I apologize. Um, but either way, I have an app on my phone. I'm gonna insert the pics so that I'm not giving you guys false uh, numbers. So literally right now, currently, today is July. <laughs> Today is July. <laughs> oh, as of July 15, 2022, 50 Ghana cities is $8 and I think 50 cents Canadian. So I basically paid $8 and 50 cents Canadian to do my hair, guys. So, so I failed to mention that. I don't know if you guys had noticed in my last video, but I have started locking my hair. So not only do I have braids, but I have my hair locked underneath my braids. So anyways guys enough about my hair today so I just wanted to um, I didn't mention and I didn't mention earlier when I picked up my vehicle and all my stuff from the harbor I didn't mention how much everything costs and I know sometimes people are wondering how much it costs to ship your vehicle how much it costs to ship things over so today I'm gonna break that down for you guys how much it costs to ship my vehicle and everything that was in it. So I have a little bit of a breakdown right here, guys. So, but I'm also gonna insert it on the screen so you guys can see it. So my vehicle, to ship my vehicle, is an Acura, it's a 2000, it's a 2013, or is it 14? 13 or 14, I can't remember. 13 or 14 Acura MDX, seven seater. I'm more gonna break down the total it cost me to, to, to get my car off the harbor because that's where the most expense was. When I shipped my car in Toronto, um, it only cost me about four thousand dollars. Like with the, the, all my items in my vehicle, um, with the vehicle, like it just—it was only, only about four grand. Lo and behold, it was nothing close to what it was to ship it in Toronto. So, basically, the fee that they charge at the harbor seventy-two thousand three hundred eighty-four Ghana cities, plus a thousand dollars, a thousand Ghana cities to for clearance to clear the car. Plus on top of it, I had to pay $8,000 for the goods. So the goods are all the things that was in the vehicle. Like I had a barrel, we had two carpets, like two air, huge air rugs, of course they're rolled up. Two air rugs, seven bins. So we see, you see some of the bins right behind me. Mattresses were, our mattresses are basically the boxes right here. So you see those two so boxes in, right there. In total, the total amount that um, we had to pay in order to get my vehicle and my vehicle and the things out of the container uh, was 81,384 Ghana cities, which is equivalent as of today um, to $13,138.51. So that's how much it cost me, 13 grand. And what pissed me off too about Ghana is the fact that I came here with American money. So I had to go to the foreign exchange place to exchange my money and the day I went in, the rate was 8.0, oh. and the rate they gave me for my American, the, my older American dollar, was 6.0. So it was. I had all hundreds. Okay, I had all hundreds. The older hundred dollars, the value was lower. So I basically lost. I lost. Can't remember. I never did. I didn't even. I didn't even. I don't even want to work it. Work out the math. Know how much money I lost. Oh. So the fact that I had to pay 13 grand to get my things from the harbor and then I go to the ship, I go to, sorry, the, the foreign exchange place and they're telling me that, oh, you're this, these American dollars are the old American dollars. So the value of it is old because 
here in Ghana, nobody wants the old US, nobody wants the, the old US dollars. Like, does it really matter? It's still a hundred bucks. It's still money, you know? So I'm, I, my advice to you guys, if you guys are coming to Ghana and you guys are exchanging your Canadian to American, please make sure they don't give you any old American dollars because you're gonna come here and you're gonna be mad. I just wanted to finish off this vlog because I didn't finish off the vlog because we were tired and um, yeah. Anyways guys, I hope you like this video. I hope that you will like give this video a thumbs up. Comment on my hair, y'all. You guys like my hair? Like I'm really loving this hair. Like I love the fact that like she's able to braid over my dreads and make it look so neat. And I only paid eight bucks, yo. You just can't go wrong. So this is pretty much the end of our uh, end of our vlog. I hope you like this vlog. Please give it a thumbs up, y'all. Like give it a thumbs up. Come back and watch our videos. Please please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Please share. Please like and comment, especially on my hair. You like my hair, y'all. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. The door? Who's at the door? Who's at the door? Yeah, Is Yao? Yes. Yes? Okay, let's go see. See you guys in the next video. Peace, y'all. Take care. God bless.